What if I told you that right now, for less than $6,000, you could own a humanoid robot, not a toy, not a prototype, but a fully walking, talking, flipping machine that looks like it's stepped out of Black Mirror. This isn't from Tesla. It's not hiding in some MIT lab. It's real, and it's coming out of China. Meet the Unitree R1, a humanoid robot that might just rewrite the future of robotics. The R1 stands at 1.25 meters tall. That's just over four feet. It weighs 25 kilograms, around 55 pounds, but it moves like no bot in its price range should. Built by Unitree Robotics, the same company behind those viral robot dogs. This is their first real leap into the humanoid race, and it doesn't walk in quietly. It backflips through the front door. With 26 degrees of freedom, every limb, every joint, moves like it means something. Direct drive actuators, real-time feedback loops, advanced motion planning. This isn't movement, it's fluid performance. It can jump, it can squat, it can dance, hell, it can fall and get right back up. So who's this thing for? Military, big tech, government labs? Nope. It's for you, students, developers, creators. Anyone who's ever dreamed of building the future from their bedroom. The R1 is being sold directly to consumers. Pre-orders are live. No Kickstarter, no waiting list. This is plug and play humanoid robotics. Imagine if Boston Dynamics said, hey, spot is $500 now, go nuts. This is that moment. Except it's not happening in Silicon Valley. It's happening in China. And they're not playing safe. Here's where it gets even crazier. The R1 comes with full SDK access, ROS2 support, a built-in LLM for voice and image recognition. You don't need to work at Google. You don't need to hack your way in. You just need a laptop and curiosity. You can teach it to talk, to see, to respond. You can build behaviors, train facial recognition, create your own scripts that trigger in real world environments. It's not locked down, it's open source ambition, sold at an entry level price. Let's talk numbers. Last year, Unitree launched the G1 Humanoid at $16,000. Not bad but still not accessible. Now compare that to Tesla's Optimus, $100,000 plus Aptronics Apollo, same ballpark. Figure zero one, still no public pricing. But trust me, you're not affording it. Unitree just cut that barrier by 66%. The R1 drops at just 5,900 US dollars. That's not innovation, that's market shock. This isn't a concept. It's not vaporware. It's not CGI. It's a real robot with a real price and a real launch. Let's stay grounded. The R1 isn't your butler. It won't cook dinner. It won't do your laundry. It won't walk your dog. Yet, its hands still clunky. Battery life? About an hour per charge. Swappable battery? Not yet. And while its movement is jaw dropping, it's not built for combat, construction, or pressure scenarios. Not yet, but that's okay, because this is version one. And like the first iPhone, it's not about perfection, it's about possibility. This isn't just about robotics, it's about power, access, speed, intent. For decades, humanoid robots have been gatekept, hidden behind DARPA grants, secret R&D, and trillion dollar tech monopolies. But Unitree is flipping the script. China isn't asking permission, they're shipping fast. While Western companies play chess with investors, Unitree is building an army. Literally. And they're not stopping. They're heading toward an IPO. They're scaling fast. And they want humanoids in classrooms, lab, homes, and factories. Not next decade. This year. Now here's where it gets uncomfortable. If the US and Europe don't match this with innovation and affordability, they risk falling behind. This isn't just a race for cool tech. It's a race for the future of automation, labor, healthcare, education, defense. 
Robots aren't just machines, they're leverage. And right now, China's playing to win. So let me ask you, what would you do if a humanoid robot was in your room tomorrow? Would you build an AI assistant, start a robotics business, teach it to dance, or just flex it on TikTok? Because this is no longer science fiction, it's reality. And it's just getting started. If you want a front row seat to what's coming next, subscribe and I will see you on the other side.